It has been dry pretty much in the Everywhere. entire country. The yeah. entire country is under a drought right now. We're seeing it, you know, of course, with the farmers dealing with our crops, and now we're seeing the reactions with mm -hmm. a nuclear power plant. So it's really having an effect on a lot of people all across the country. We feel the heat mm -hmm. yeah, just as an <laughs> average person, we notice it. So the chances for us here to have some rain showers over the next few days are very welcome sights. Today, a better chance than what we saw yesterday than even on Sunday. It looks like it might have a better chance for some of those storms to roll through. Just like usual, though, our mornings are starting off amazing. Temperatures right now in Denver, 66, 63 in Fort Collins, 57 there in Greeley. Look at Grand Junction out on the western slope there, 74 degrees. Most of us in the front range are in those 60s, just a few of us in those upper 50s. We are going to warm up really nicely, though. You're going to notice our temperatures quickly jumping into those 80s, almost to 90 degrees by lunchtime today. And then we're going to halt right around the mid-90s. Maybe 94 degrees is going to be our high for today. Our average temperature this time of year is 90, so we're going to be just a little bit above average. We will start to see those clouds increase at noon. That's also where the storms are going to start picking up in the mountains. They're then going to push towards that I-25 corridor. We have a chance to see some storms in the early afternoon hours. Then we're going to get a slight break of some of those storms here in the metro area, but they're going to push north. We're going to see them north of I-70, even north of Fort Collins area, right along the border through the overnight hours. So let's look at Futurecast, and I'll show you how this all plays out. As we put it into motion, you're going to start to see some of the storms, the chance of them to pop up right between 11 and noon. Those, as I said, are going to push towards that I-25 quarter. But you see this band? This is what's going to possibly form right along that I-70 quarter, and then kind of track right on up. But 5 o'clock, though, you're going to see a second band form up to the north, just giving us the chance for some of these thunderstorms, some lightning, and some rain showers to push on through. By 8 o'clock this evening, it looks like they're mostly going to be in the northern section of the Front Range. And then late this evening into our overnight hours, you're going to notice them north of Longmont, up to the Wyoming border, right along there, pushing through, some of them even lasting to tomorrow morning. As you can see, 7 a.m., still a chance for some of these storms. Widen out and show you the statewide view, also starting at 7 o'clock this morning. Before noon, most of the storms are going to be west of that I-25 corridor. Then we're going to see some of them creep across, giving the northeast portion of the state a chance for some of these storms. However, it still does look like, I'm sorry, the north, yeah, the northeast portion looks like the southeast portion is still going to remain pretty dry. So for our highs for today, 94 here in Denver, 95 in Greeley, 93 in Fort Collins. The mountains are going to be pretty warm as well. Look at this, 80 in Winter Park, 84 in Eagle. However, Leadville is going to be a little bit cooler there with 70 degrees. Now down south in the front range, we're going to notice some cooler temperatures, 89 in Castle Rock, and then we're going to warm again. 91 in Parker and in Littleton, 94 in Brighton and Longmont, and then 93 in Fort Fort Collins. As we look at our seven-day planner, you're going to notice a warm-up even tomorrow into the mid to the upper 90s, increasing our chance for some storms. Those storms tomorrow look like they're going to be late day, maybe overnight hours. Then Sunday, it looks like we're going to have a better chance for some of those storms pretty much all across the front range.